Welcome to the March 15th, 2018 episode of Reactive Consciousness, our in-depth podcast about what happened this week in our lives. I'm your host, Vise the Bold, and this is... Lotus Prince. And I'm Pyro Jack Frost. And to all of you, beware the Ides of March. <laughs> Wait, why? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, for all of you old school Simpsons fans, <laughs> new school uh, Simpsons fans, I'm sure, do not quote it like we do. But... Yeah. Because <laughs> they're not but, losers. Uh... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, this week we um, had a lot of uh, uh, happening uh, in in the uh, Nintendo Direct that we recently heard. Yeah. Uh, so Nintendo uh, I, never I was... seeks to never never disappoints. Let's put it that way. Rarely. Yeah. They're, they're always great. Mm-hmm. They're o- they're always great, and not only that. Well, at, ever since the Switch came out, they've been great. Let's mm-hmm. just put it that way. Um, the, the 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 last one before like. Uh, Star Fox Zero came out you know, on the Wii U. That was a sad one. I mean, uh, there wasn't much going on. I would say that even when they they announce games that end up sucking, like the fact that they announced like that Star Star Fox game, people were like, "Oh shit, cool, a new Star Fox game!" And then it came out, and they're like, "God damn it, Nintendo, this sucks." But like they yeah. know when to an- make these announcements, and they know how to announce these to make them seem like they're going to be good games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There there's always hype. There's always hype for sure. And the the the, the funny thing is they also always still have like surprises mm-hmm. up their yeah, sleeves really during do. during these times. These are just like the biggest ones that they want to get you hyped about. Yep. Um and the Nintendo Direct Mini uh that they last had was fantastic. It had the Labo uh stuff, yep. That's right, which was, yeah. Which was awesome. But um uh, we we wanted to go pretty much over everything. I mean, there's there's plenty of stuff to go over. There's here, a lot. Um, most of it is just ports to the Switch, which are all like welcome games. I mean, I, I don't see yeah. a bad one in the bunch. Um, first of all, you have Hyrule Warriors uh, Definitive Edition. Uh, so that's gonna have all the extra content from the uh, 3DS, 3DS and uh, the crap. It's it's really lag. good that they're they're doing that because I I have a Wii U. Um, I have a 3DS, but I don't have a new 3DS. And I, I keep saying that I want to try Hyrule Warriors because I mean I like the Dynasty Warriors games, but I I was just complaining in the last podcast that I don't have the time. And I know these are like yeah. really time intensive, but I would like to try Hyrule Warriors. But knowing that it's out on the Switch or going to be out on the Switch makes the Switch an even juicier purchase for me because I can play all these yeah. games that I've been wanting to play. Yeah, I I agree. I I, I think um it's a it's a perfect. It's the the perfect um, uh, platform for it because it's it's, a, it's an arcade game. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a beat 'em up. I mean, I I really um, I I couldn't get into Dynasty Warriors because I just didn't care about the characters, the subject matter. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And and Samurai Warriors, same thing. Like I don't I don't know anything about Japanese or Chinese history. I wish I did, but uh, I I don't. Um, read a book once and... in a while why don't you <laughs> jeez <laughs> read a book in another language uh full of characters that are completely foreign to me now all you need um... to do is play magic the <laughs> gathering uh portal three kingdoms then you'll know everything about dynasty warriors <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i i um i'm really excited for this and also i'm i'm kind of excited to completely replace the with the wii u I've, mm-hmm. I've talked about that a couple times but i mean it it was a cool system because it had some cool games on it, but uh, I mean, honestly, I'm I'm ready to leave it behind. It 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 um it just didn't sell well, and I I'd be very happy if every good game that came out on the Wii U uh, got a got a new newer version yep. of the Wii. Yep. Give me that uh, Fatal Frame Five, baby. Make it happen. Yeah, I mean, I I think that will happen. I mean, another game going along with that is uh, Captain Toad. Yeah, um, yeah. I I uh, think I have Captain Toad for Wii U. And it was a really fun game. It was really mm-hmm. short, but it was still pretty fun. And uh, I think they're adding a little bit to the the new one. Yeah. So they're um, Captain Toad was um, guest starred in a couple levels with um, in um, Mario Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're adding uh, Mario Odyssey themed levels gotcha. to it. So it, it, it's an enhanced port. Um, it, it's with extra content. Um, I, I, out of all the ports, those two are probably going to be the best because the they they are actually going to have significant content um, 
uh, and performance upgrades. Mm-hmm. You know, those those two. Um, because Hyrule Warriors on 3DS is not fun to play. Even with a new 3DS, it's just it's it doesn't play well. Um, so I'm I'm glad that the Switch version is going to supplant it. Yeah. Um, but you know, you you have some some great um, uh, st- standard ports on here that I think will fit all fit really well in the system. I mean, you have Undertale, which should be on a Nintendo system. I mean, it really should. Um, mm. it, it is especially since all the all the um inspiration it takes from Nintendo games. Yeah, Earthbound, uh, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I haven't played it, but I know that as much. Um, I mean, they, Shadow- I mean, you could tell just with screenshots, though. The aesthetic yeah. is very like Mother One, even possibly Mother Two. <laughs> Uh, Shadow Brick here, uh, Crash Insane Trilogy. I mean, uh, like Crash was basically the unofficial mascot of PlayStation for yeah, um, yeah. I, the 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 trilogy is pretty fun. I have it for the PS4. I basically only played like the first world, and then I stopped because other games. Crash yeah. isn't like the best platformer, but it's really fun. Um. But yeah, just to see it on a Nintendo console is kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I won't buy it because uh, even back then I thought the games were really hard. Mm-hmm. And also, like, I, I'd rather put more time into something like The Witcher or, you know, like so, something that where, where I have a meaningful, like, story experience. Like, yeah. I, I, I can I can, I can can dig, you know, playing, like, a, a game like that, like an arcade kind of game like that, like, a couple levels at a time. But, yeah. I, I mean, mm-hmm. this day and age, I, I would... Um, rather go go to something like you know uh, nuclear throne or enter the gungeon like I talked about on Tuesday. Um, I, I just have too much to play, so I'm, to go back to something like that, unless you're like a big fan, which there were plenty of people that were. Yeah, uh, huge. Yeah, Crash lots Bandicoot of people fans. are like, that's the game I grew up with, and all and, that. And this is this yeah. is kind of a little bit of a tangent, but I heard that they're also now going to be remaking to the trilogy of uh, Spyro the Dragon, which was one of my favorite oh, 3D nice. platforms. 3D games, so I'm really Neat. looking forward to that. But that's not part of Nintendo Direct, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Ho- hopefully they'll uh, add a real end, like a, a good ending to the, the first Spyro <laughs> game. <laughs> it was just like, oh, you found all the dragons. <laughs> you, know, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Super Mario RPG, where there's this one in, in Monstro Town. There's this one mimic monster, but everyone in Monstro Town you just talk to them. They don't fight them. And there's this one sure. mimic who's like. Hey, did you know that there are X number of invisible treasure chests throughout the game? So far, you found this number, so there are this many left. Can you find them all? And if you actually get every chest in the game, when you finally talk to him, he says, Oh, you found them all. Like, that's literally (laughs) it. I was like, what? I was so mad. Asshole. Yeah. Um, uh, Okami HD, uh, a welcome... Uh, port. I I own this game like three times over, <laughs> and I beat I, I beat it on PS2 way back when. So I'm I'm not super excited, but I'm glad that like some other people can enjoy it because it is a fantastic game. I never beat it. I, I, got, I like, just halfway personally through am. it on PlayStation PlayStation 2. I think it was out on first. Mm-hmm. I got like halfway through yep. it. Uh, I never beat it, but um, it was a really fun game. Really, I, you, I enjoyed do, it. Do you think they fixed the box art, or is it still going to be like the Wii box art, where there's like you can see like a watermark on <laughs> the <laughs> cover of the game? No, no, I think they're doing a stand-up job with this one. Um, it's just and really it's, funny it's, to me. It just came out on a bunch of other consoles too, so mm-hmm. that that's good. Yeah, I've seen it um, around for the PS4, for example. Yeah, it just came out, I think, for the PS4. Pretty recently, so. yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they, they even upgraded it to the PS3 uh, only a little while ago. So That's I mean, true, yeah. Um, the, the, I mean, the, it's cool that you can get it on your platform of choice, which is yeah. is a good thing. I don't. I just don't know if I'm going to buy it again. You know, it's it's just, I, I, I own it several times over. Like, now, I've so. never owned it, so, like, now's my chance. Like, I might yeah, want to pick no. it up for PS4. Do it, do it. Yeah. Um, and let's see here. Little Nightmares, uh, you're, you're the expert here, Lotus, on this one. But uh, apparently it's going to include all the DLC, which is neat. Yeah, it'll be like a com- like an actual complete edition. This is something I didn't really talk about. But one thing that really irritated me, not about the game itself, but about the, uh, the marketing, was that um, you know how sometimes when a game comes out, like Resident Evil 7 or... Or Bioshock Infinite. When you buy the game, you can buy it with a season pass, right? So, like, yeah. whatever DLC comes out, you've already paid for it, so you'll have it. 
So Little Nightmares had, uh, I want to say, three, quote, versions. There's, like, the special edition when you first get the game that comes with a little figure. Then there's just the, the regular game. But there's also what was called a complete edition. And when I hear about complete editions... I assume it's like Resident Evil 7 Gold, where like all the DLC is on the disc, because that's what mm-hmm. the word that's what the word complete means. Yeah, C- correct me if I'm wrong. So like, in the this little case, nightmare... did it just mean that they didn't give you half a disc? They just gave you the full disc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. But with Little Nightmares, though, I've seen the complete edition on the shelves. But that's just the day one with season pass edition. Like the complete edition is the base game plus. Uh, a code for the season pass and like that's not a fucking complete edition like when mm. again when resident evil 7 came out on day one the the season pass version was not called a complete edition because it wasn't fucking complete and even with little nightmares the last piece of dlc wasn't even out yet so it's really not complete that just really irritated me on principle so like if the Switch version comes with all the DLC, I think that'll be the actual complete edition, which is kind of refreshing. Maybe that's what they'll call it. Little Nightmares actual complete yeah, the ac- edition. Yeah, the, the not lying to you this time complete edition. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, I, I think it's cool. I mean, I, I won't buy it because I already have it on PC, but... Um, yeah, the I, game's I, great on any console. The, the controls are really basic. It's not like, oh, you, you're you way better off using a controller or you're way better off using that system's control. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, it plays like limbo. Like there's like two buttons mm. and then the, the D pad. Well, here here's a port that I'm actually uh, excited for. Um, uh, South Park fractured but whole. Um, mm-hmm. But whole. Now, yep. Well, that's the joke. <laughs> uh, so uh, I uh, I really loved uh, the Stick of Truth. I I thought it was a great game. I I never played either. I heard uh the Fractured but Whole was actually not as good as Yeah, I heard it was uh, I heard it was I heard it was, it was good, good, but not Stick of Truth good. Yeah. yeah. But um I I actually haven't bought the sequel yet. So, um uh, I'll play an RPG on a portable system. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's really cool. And I can I could play it on on the TV and I'm sure there won't be any performance issues or anything. So, uh, I'm excited to do that. I'll, I'll probably end up getting that version. Uh, I think a lot of this just depends on whether you you have anything else or not. You know, if 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 the Switch is your main system, which it, it, it it's getting to the point where it probably could be your main system. Well, that's the thing. Um, like a lot of this Nintendo Direct is playing catch up, but once the Switch has caught up to everybody else, and like if people if they start doing simultaneous releases, then the Switch really could just supplant the other systems well i i think they've proven uh I, i'm glad that you brought that up i i think they've proven that there are there like the sales of on on basically every game have been great yeah. um um like switch games sell very well because the the fan base and the people that picked one up are, are hungry for games mm-hmm. so um that just means that people uh, they'll, they'll start developing um uh, new, uh, you know, uh, ports for this, and and hopefully they'll all be simultaneous. Uh, it, that's I mean, the I'll, thing. I'll... That, that's the thing that I'm afraid is holding. I mean, the Switch, uh, Nintendo's always done its own thing, so I can't really say it's being held back. Like, there's just no competition. But like, the thing with Nintendo Direct is like, guess what, guys? Undertale's coming out for the system, even though it's already been out for like three years. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, it's 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 not like if you were that much of a fan of Undertale. It was already available on everything else, so, like, you don't need to, like, finally a Switch version. But at this point, it's nice just as a statement that, yes, we can, like, this is not the original Wii. We can actually have the same games that everybody else does, including Doom 2016. So if they actually get simultaneous releases with, like, the PS4, the Xbox, and the Nintendo, then that'll be a a real contender. It'll be back to, like, the GameCube days where the GameCube and the PS2 had simultaneous releases. I don't think they're going to do simultaneous releases but it's nice to know that they're actually considering about getting these games on their system even if it's like yeah. months or a year later so the people who have a switch don't feel the need they need to buy another system to play these good games no that's true yeah uh what i find is is really cool is that the the system must be very easy to develop for um so um what i'm thinking is um basically the the um switch is an nvidia shield like a modified mm-hmm. nvidia shield so um it, it runs off of the same kind of um chipsets that the um the graphical chipsets that, that the ps4 does um so uh the ps4 i think has nvidia um 
uh, chipsets as well. Uh, and maybe even the Xbox One. I think they both do. Um, and and as well as PCs. So it's I'm sure it's very easy to port games over. Um, and, and very easy to develop for. Mm. So and that's great. Because um, that, that's that, one of the things that held the Wii U back. Was you really had to dedicate yeah. your development to the Wii U or to the other two systems. So I, I mean, it's not, it's not going to be my main system, but for for indie games or for like a lot of, um, uh, uh, for multiplayer games, I, I'm thinking for multiplayer games, it's probably going to be my my main system for mm-hmm. those because I can easily take it to somebody's house, yeah, um, and and have all those games and and we could even set it up, you know, in kickstand mode and and play like Overcooked or you know, yeah. um, you know, anything like that. So I, I'm really excited for the system. It, 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 I'm glad that it caught on, too. Yeah. So, uh, mm-hmm. um, I'm I, I'm really digging it. And for RPGs, I, I I mean I just don't um my it, it's perfect for me in my in my current living situation because you know, you know my, me and my girlfriend want to spend time with each other after after work you know we don't have all that much time we have a couple of hours before we have to go to bed so we have to go back to work again you know and she likes to watch her shows and like if i'm playing a video game i i you know she can't watch her shows and if i go to another room i don't i'm not spending time with her Mm -hmm. well if i have these games on switch i can be right next to her talking with her you know asking about her day and she can watch her show and i can play my game at the same time in the same space um, so it's kind of like the, what the Wii U wanted y- yeah. you to play it like, but it, 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 it's it's a perfect realization of it. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm really excited um, for this, and uh, just a couple quick ones. There's a couple 3DS ports. Uh, 3DS at all out of nowhere is getting a port of the original Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> yeah, that surprises um, me. Like for, it's already the had the sequel. Like ah, let's get the original GameCube on there too, or the GameCube yeah, game on there too. I think that's why they did it. They were like, "Well, you have the second one on there, and we maybe it's a proof of concept or something." But um, yeah, it's cool. I mean, I, I just beat the the GameCube one. I think what three years ago. Um, it's so it's been in pr- pretty recent memory. So, um, I, I I'm probably not gonna buy it again. <laughs> I can't I can't think of buying it again. Plus, you know, it, it's it's gonna be on on a portable system. But uh, yeah. It's cool uh, for people who want it. And um, then there's... Uh, I did beat this one. Mario... Uh, I did beat this one as well. Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Which yep. is one of the best games in the series. It, it, it um, is. I think I beat that one. I think that was one of the two or that I beat of the Mario Luigi games. I beat the first three. Mm. Um, uh, so this one's really good. It's, it might even be the best one. Um, and they're uh, adding content to it for the 3DS. They're adding Bowser Jr. to it. Um, so there's there's probably a, a subplot there that's extra. So I definitely recommend that one, even if the new content's not all that great. It's still one of the best games um, in that in that franchise. Definitely uh, go after it. Another um, 3DS one that was a little weird. Um, I, I guess it's pretty cool. Um, 3DS has had a few releases that are kind of like this, like compilations of um, mm. of popular series. Uh, they they did like a Mario Party compilation a little while ago, um, but this is a WarioWare compilation, and WarioWare is one of my favorite series. Uh, yep. I love WarioWare. Wario, I love like WarioWare even... for the same reason that I like Rhythm Heaven. Uh, I love uh, Rhythm Heaven. Actually, has a compilation on the on the 3DS as well. Um, yep. So it it. it, it I guess they they were like, okay, well, we have these games that have like tons of mini games. Why don't we just put a best of out? Yep. So, um, I I've, I'm full all for that. In fact, this one's really neat too because they're including stuff from WarioWare Touch because you can you could still use the the stylus. Oh yeah. And you you can also uh, there's also stuff from WarioWare Twisted, uh, which I thought was neat. Mm. Um, which is the the motion controlled one for the for the GBA. Um one of the very few games on the GBA that had motion controls. Um, so it, I think that's pretty neat that they're, they're coming out with that kind of stuff. Um, but, uh, I'll probably end up buying that one just because I, I own all the WarioWare games, but I mean, I just love WarioWare so much. Even if you repackage it, I'll probably buy it. Um, so I, I guess, uh, we'll move on to the more unique stuff. Uh, first of all, um, I mean, there's not much to talk about here, but I mean, this is exciting. Smash Brothers. I, I really like um, the uh, trailer for that, where it had yeah. the two Splatoon 
characters fighting and then they you saw them look in the distance and you saw the smash icon in her eye the reflection in her eye yeah the reveal was <laughs> yeah like that it was a smash trailer like you didn't even know that was pretty clever yeah i, I love that uh that the meme that's been going along with, with like any yeah well shrek it was really funny and i i was like well he'd be more fun uh, more at home in all-star battle because <laughs> hey now you're an all-star but uh <laughs> Uh, I thought that was that was great. I mean, um, I just hope that they include all of the guest stars. Yeah, uh, it, I, I, I think I, I don't think there's any way in hell that this is a new game. An yeah, new I'm game. I'm curious if this is a new game or if it's uh, Smash U, but with yeah. Splatoon characters. And I have a feeling it's gonna be just a, a up. What is it, like a up like a added to? They're gonna add to the one for Wii U. Because yeah, just the, why, the only thing not, that why, the only why make a new game? So, th- I mean, the only thing that throws me though is that that was, the, like, that was how the Nintendo Direct closed with like, oh shit! So if it is just a port, that would be kind of like, oh. <laughs> well, I I, I, I mean, think like, it I, is I, a I port. I don't actually expect a new game, but it would be a little weird to close with like a teaser reveal. But for I a port. think even if it was just a port, with but if they added a whole bunch of new characters, people love smash and i'm pretty sure they're gonna love that, that it's on switch because if they that might yeah, be everybody the only, actually has a switch <laughs> that might be the only game they still have on wii u so they might yeah. know that hey i can play this on switch and i can play it on the go now, so that's another now thing what, you can play yeah. it on the go. what would be really nice speaking of playing it on the go what would be really nice is if it were like definitive smash u because the thing with smash u is that there were some tracks and some levels that were system exclusive to the 3ds and to the wii u so if, yeah. the, if the Switch version put all that together, that would be fantastic. Mm-hmm. Not only that, but uh, I, no, I, I hope that all of the all of the um, the guest characters make it. You know, like if if they didn't include like uh, Bayonetta's obviously. I I don't think there's any way. I think Nintendo's that, got that locked down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bayonetta's like a Nintendo character now, <laughs> ostensibly. But um, um, it. Uh, I I really hope that like Square is still allowing them to use Cloud, like, uh, you know, yeah. like the whole uh, and Ryu uh, for Cap from Capcom. I mean, none of, none of their um, relationships have been bad with any of those companies recently. I mean, nah. they're still really good friends with Namco, so I don't think you know Pac Man will still be there. Um, uh, Mega Man, I think, will still be there. Well, the but... the thing is, like, it would be a little weird if characters were conspicuously missing. So yeah. my assumption would be that they they got all this stuff sorted out in order to be able to declare like the teaser that that's what yeah, I hope. I, mean, uh, I, I think there, there's going to be even more characters other than just the, uh, you know, the uh, squid kids. So yeah, I, I, yeah. I think it'll be, it, it'll be cool. Well, they're um, probably, probably do like pr- what they did with a Wii U where they're going to gradually release trailers of new characters. Mm-hmm. They're going to add. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, I definitely think it's a port, but I, I I'm okay with it. And it would be really neat if they did a subspace emissary mode, mm. um, yeah, because please. that was missing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I doubt I, it, but I, that'd be great. Is the, this is the perfect time for it, though. I mean, like they they fixed everything that was lacking about Mario Kart Eight with with yeah. the Switch release. They have an opportunity to make this the the best Smash Brothers game of all time. If, if that they is true, to. Um, so I, I I'm looking <laughs> forward to that. Um, oh, speaking of the Squid Kids, by the way, let's just give a quick shout yeah. out to uh, Splatoon Two because that game's already out, but they're they're giving updates to it. Apparently, people are flipping about this. You, you'll actually be able to play as Octolings because that was never an option before. Yeah, I'm actually really excited about this because I'm not a um I, I like Splatoon, but I don't play it multiplayer. I kind of just play the the single player because the single player is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. substantial enough. Um, and they're adding a whole new single player mode, um, to, uh, the Octo expansion is what it's, what it's called. So I, I'm, 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 I'm really looking forward to that. I, I, I like those games. I, I think they're really fun. Um, if I had more people to, you know, uh, pl- play that, that I knew personally that played that game, I think I would play it, but, um, it's unfortunate, but, uh, I, I, I still like the, the, the boss battles and everything uh, in those games. They're really good. Um, and arms is kind of similar. It, it's getting, it's getting m- new content when everybody thought that, uh, they were done with that game. They had said that officially that they were done with that game, but I, I think that game blew expectations out of the water. Um, yeah, people it's, ended it's up liking it. It's a real fun pick up and play, like easy to, easy to learn, hard to master kind of game. 
Yeah, so they're adding uh, another character. I think the <laughs> the new character is. Uh, I think everybody is expecting them to be able to use their legs. So it's like the, <laughs> oh, that's like no! the twist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, it, 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 uh, it, well, one of the characters already uses her hair. So I mean, it's like not all completely armed. Yeah, but yeah. It's still fun. Um. So uh, th- this one, uh, Lotus and I are very excited about. No More Heroes Three, uh, oh, yeah. the return of uh, of uh, what's his face, Travis, <laughs> Travis, touchdown. Travis touchdown. There we go. I didn't think that they were gonna make another one. Like I know that one and two did pretty well. Um, yeah. But I didn't think they did well enough that they would release another one, especially since it's been so long since two. Well, th- there was a teaser, that's true, but there there was a teaser for 3, like, a while back, mm-hmm. but you, it was just, like, a cinematic. Uh, what, what excites me is that while No More Heroes 1 was given the HD remaster treatment, this will be the first No More Heroes game that was designed for HD, and you, you can tell. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. It looks, actually, the, the gameplay reminded me a lot about Fury. Um, I can kind of see looks... that. It looks really fun. Uh, it looks like it has a. Um, it's very boss focused, uh, mm-hmm. which I'm I'm all for. And they can do a lot of crazy things with this game because it takes place in a video game world, like a Tron kind of mm. kind of deal. So, oh, by the way, th- this is going a little bit off topic, but while we're on the subject of No More Heroes uh, and just Suda Fifty One, this is not related to the Nintendo Direct. But you know the free to play game Let It Die on yep. PS4 where you climb the tower. Apparently, in honor of Grasshopper's uh, 30th anniversary, there's going to be some... I don't know in what capacity, but there's going to be some kind of Killer7 content released for like oh, yeah, guy, I heard about that. And that just blows yeah. my mind. So people think that they are going to be like the boss characters for a little while for, for nice. guest star, starring shots. That'd be cool. So um, I I haven't gotten a chance to play that game yet, but uh, well, I hear that a lot of... Die? The, let it die. I, I yeah. played Killer Seven with you, but um, that's right. Yeah. Um, Let it die was a uh, looks like it's a lot of fun, and I think a lot of people like it. I think it's been successful um, as a free to play game for the mm-hmm. PS4, which yeah, which is kind of unusual. Um, but I, I think it's just it it attracts the Dark Souls crowd. Um, so I think people are enjoying it. Yeah, actually, on that subject, uh, we forgot to mention for a port, but like you know, the Dark Souls remaster is coming out, but the Switch is getting that too. But on top of getting Dark Souls, it's getting uh, an amiibo for Solaire. I would never think they would make an amiibo for Dark Souls for Switch. Jesus Christ. Well, well, well here's yeah. what cracks me up. Did coming you... to. No, no, he, he, here's what I find amazing. Did, did you guys see what the amiibo's function is? Oh, yeah. It just basically makes you do the pose. Yeah, the praise the, the song gesture. The song. Oh, are you yeah. serious? Yeah, when you yeah. tap the amiibo to the thing, you just can do the gesture. It's fantastic. Wow. <laughs> like, it's, it's like... like practical like uh, regarding practicality it's pointless but you know you want it yeah yeah, yeah. uh mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's amazing I, I think it's a gamestop exclusive too so you you should definitely pre-order it if you want it um uh i may get this one because i i i still haven't played dark souls yet so um having so it portable would be still pretty fun I so think. there's the man yeah so i i'm I, I, I might get this version of the game uh, i'm looking forward to that um there's also another 3ds game that we uh we missed while going through 3ds stuff um dylan's dead heat breakers now i i think i'm the only one with experience with this series most likely Um, yeah Yeah, i've never even heard of it so this is the third game in um a line of d uh of download only games from the eShop for the 3ds um so the first two games were a western themed uh basically action slash tower defense game uh Uh, and it 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 was unusual in that there it took place in a 3d 3d space most most um tower defense games are are top-down perspective um so this is pretty cool because you instead of you know clicking where you want to drop things you have you know an armadillo who who um kind of like rolls up into a ball like uh uh, like Sonic the Hedgehog, and needs to travel to each place. So he needs to go really fast. Uh, I know that each place um, that he wants to put things down. Uh, what's the name of the who? Who is it that made the Broken Age game and uh, Double Fine? Double Fine, yeah. Double Fine made a mm-hmm. game similar that was like a 3D. Um, you're like in a mech, and you had to drop down turrets. Oh, Iron Brigade. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that was kind of similar to that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big tower defense guy. I mean, I, I like uh, an occasional, um, like, um, hybrid game, but I, I don't like pure tower defense games I agree. very much. Uh, I, I'll, 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 I'll play through something if it has like a really nice, um, uh, like action element, but, uh, it, it, it takes a lot for me to like it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so, I mean, I, I have the first two games, but I kind of just had them like to fart around with them. I never really got really into them. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't know whether I'm going to get that one or not. Um, but I think, uh, at least Lotus and I are really excited about this next one, uh, Mario Tennis Aces. I think we talked about that extensively on a previous reaction. Yeah, like, the thing with Mario Tennis is I loved Mario Tennis, the original in 64, and the GameCube one did play better. Uh, I just felt it pushed Mario Sunshine stuff really hard, but I still really enjoyed the game. And then I was uh, especially excited for the Wii U release, but I heard that despite looking gorgeous and even playing well, it was really bare bones. Like, everything's already unlocked, which immediately turns me off, because I like going through games and getting more content out of them. But apparently, the upcoming Switch game is going to be fleshed out, so I'm I'm quite happy about that. Yeah, I can't wait. I mean, um, uh, I have no no fear that this one will be really good. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. (laughs) <laughs> I, I don't have much skin in this one. Uh, Detective Pikachu. Um, <laughs> I, Ryan Reynolds I. is in it, so that's kind of cool. But It's just uh, so weird. It's just weird that I, I don't know what was going through their heads to think about making this. I mean, I'm yeah. not even sure what kind of game it is, but just the fact that it's a Pikachu that talks. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean... It's weird. It's, I, I remember... Did you ever yeah. see that clip that went viral of that one Pokemon movie where Pikachu talked and everyone was like, what? Like, it was like the weirdest... After like 15 years of not talking, all of a sudden he says sentences and it blew everyone away. Yeah, I don't know. It's... it. I, Pokemon stuff was never my jam. Um, I have only ever bought Pokemon games if they're kind of like the spinoff games. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you I got like Pokemon, Pokemon Tournament. Well, I like Pokemon Tournament. I like uh, the pin- uh, Pokemon Pinball games are fantastic. That game uh, was pretty sweet. I I bought Pokemon Puzzle League on the Wii U uh, on the Wii recently because uh, I um, it hasn't been released on the Wii U. So mm. um, I, I bought that because the Virtual Console versions of N sixty four games are much better than their originals. They're they're so much cleaned up and better. Um, so I I, I bought it. You know, because it's Puzzle League, not because it's Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there's, like, Pokemon Snap. I loved that game when I played it. Um, yeah, the only Pokemon games I've ever owned were... Well, my brother had Blue on the Game Boy. Uh, I had Yellow and Pokemon Stadium for the 64, so I could play Yellow. And also for Pokemon Stadium itself. And Pokemon Snap, that's it. Yeah, I mean, I, I owned Blue back in the day and I never beat it. So, I mean, um, yeah. it just wasn't my type. It wasn't my It wasn't my jam. But uh, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be entertaining. Um, and then there's Octopath Traveler, which is, is a square, is a new Square Enix RPG that they're yeah, making it's made just by the for I Am Switch. Setsuna team, right? Uh, I don't. I'm not sure actually. It I'm might pretty be. Pretty sure. Um, but yeah, so sure. that's for Switch that they're making, and I think it's only for Switch. If I remember yeah. correctly. It looks it looks good. Uh, I think it. Um, it has a really good classic art style. Mm-hmm. Um, there, there's a mixed reception on I Am Setsuna. I didn't look into why. I, I but... heard that I Am Setsuna was really good, but the second game they made was iffy. Yeah. yeah I, I, from, from what I heard about it, like, I can't, I can't speak about the gameplay, but from what I've heard, like, you've seen those screenshots where it's like that gorgeous kind of winterscape, but from what I hear, most of the game has that just white, like samey kind of look so it's beautiful once but then it's like all right do we get color in this game somewhere well it's yeah. better than a lazy uh cell phone port of whatever mm-hmm. yes, um, yes. <laughs> so we'll take it yeah um and let's see kirby star allies uh, i think they just updated to, to let you know that you could have more uh they they let you know more about the allies that you could have in that game but that looks like a fantastic game like that i've been i i saw some of the the uh, boss battles um and they they look like a lot of fun i mean i always like kirby games but uh this is a mainline kirby game and it looks like it's a, it's gonna be a blast hmm. 
Uh, I know, um, Pyro, you like you like Kirby games quite a bit. Yeah, and actually, so Octopath Traveler is made by Acquire and Square Enix, okay. the people who made Tenchu and the way of the Samurai games. Oh, wow. Yeah, really? it's not made by the um, I Am Satsuna people. Huh. I might be confusing that with a different uh, uh, game Lost that Sphere. they'll also work on. Lost Sphere, yeah, that's that it. just came out, and that was, eh, I heard. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. That That is the one that I was confusing it with. So, hey, you know, um, Acquire makes good stuff, so uh, yeah. let's see if that... Um, I think there's some buzz around that game, so um, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And um, last but not least, um, so... I love Nintendo's, like, small bite games. I <laughs> love it when they, like, I, I love Rhythm Heaven, WarioWare. Like, any time when they come out with, yeah. like, Bonsai Barber was a lot of fun, like, back on the Wii. Um, like, any time when they get experimental and weird and, Oh, like, like that like that weird, like, muscle running oh, game? Oh, yeah. Well, Muscle March was, was Namco. But, oh, um, that's, like, the dumbest game ever, and it's the best game ever. Yes. Oh, yeah. What no, that game's game. essential. <laughs> but the best. I I like it when they um when they get weird or uh experimental. Uh they also have that like that game um where where you have that dog uh Rusty Sluggers uh big real deal uh baseball. Uh did you, do you guys know about that game? Yeah, I've heard of it. So, it was a game on 3DS where they were um basically um they 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 were testing the market as to whether d like in app purchases were something that people would like. Um, so uh, what they did was they gave you a free to play game, but like each mini game inside of it, you needed to buy, but you needed to haggle with the the the. Oh, I think you've mentioned that. Yeah, that's hysterical. It, it was awesome. So like like you 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 would play the game and you would you would go through this whole like story about this guy's family like the the rusty sluggers family and uh he's basically a down and out guy you know and uh you 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 haggle with him for every mini game you could pay like five bucks or you can haggle him down to like two bucks for <laughs> that's amazing yeah it's it's really neat and his son will pop out and say uh he's not gonna go any lower like <laughs> that's great like, yeah it's just like um, so you you should always go for the lowest price until his son pops out. But it it, it was it was a fun um, game, and it I I love Nintendo's mini games. I just think they're the best. I I think they're so much fun. Um, yeah, like the like WarioWare I, I, I games play their and mini games. Heaven, like I don't anything. own those, but if I ever go to our friends and they have it up, like I just get lost in them. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I just love their their inventive nature and and their they're uh, they always put out something funny too like yeah. it's always funny mm-hmm. like i remember um, i remember luminaire playing through uh what was it smooth moves the wii one yeah. that was uh, a lot of fun in college and oh man we were getting into it oh it's great well uh the game that i'm referring to is sushi striker the way of the sushido <laughs> oh come uh, on come on yeah so uh it looks like it's gonna be one part like action fun like anime style like uh, game where you have to like eat lots of sushi and uh, one part puzzle game. It looks like it has like a poyo poyo element to it where oh. you have to match up sushi uh, while you're playing, and it looks like a blast. I can't wait to buy it. It looks fantastic. Uh, it's gonna be good. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty so, sure it's um, gonna be fun. And I'm, I mean, if it's one of those smaller games too, where it's like ten bucks or so, then. It's probably worth the the fun you'll have, or just the silliness of it. That's the thing. Your money's worth for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Snipper like, like, Clips was one of their smaller games, and that yeah. was a fantastic game. Mm-hmm. I mean, Box Boy is another one of their their fantastic small games. Their small games, like more often than not, are really awesome. Like uh, people liked uh, 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 Stretchmo and mm, what was the Pushmo. other one? Pushmo. Pushmo. Yeah. I mean, the their their small games are oh, their bite sized games are always fun. I, I really enjoy them, so um, I, I can't wait for that. I, I know that that it's a weird one for us to end <laughs> off of, but uh, per- personally, I, I think that's yeah. probably the one I'm most excited about. <laughs> for me, my again, like I'm also going in a weird direction. The things I'm most excited about are definitive Hyrule Warriors. Uh, well, and a little less outrageous Mario Tennis. I'm super hyped about Mario Tennis. That's actually a new game. <laughs> 
How, how about you, Pyro? What, what, what's your um, what's your breakout hit here? Because it's an RPG, probably Octopath Traveler. But mm-hmm. e- ignoring that, I would probably say the WarioWare game because even though it's just a collection, I I love that's those a mini- good collection. <laughs> I mean, I love those mini game type games. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I don't think I, uh, I I didn't think I was a weirdo for 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 thinking that yeah. they they do that kind of a game the the best and the uh, music in the war by the way the music in the WarioWare games even though they're like bite sized bits like between levels and stuff they're really good yeah they 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 blow they they blow those games out of the water in, uh, like, in terms of presentation and yeah that. like like Ashley's theme from I think it was Smooth Moves maybe it was the previous WarioWare game made it to like you know one of the uh, like Smash wii u levels mm-hmm. and 3ds like it's super you catchy know what, you know what we need to do um pyro we need to spend some time with warioware D- diy um i bought that for the 3ds where you can make your own oh nice warioware games nice yeah. and um i have the wii component uh the one that uh that hooks up to it um oh, so okay. you can play it on the tv oh nice so we, oh by we, the way this is this that. is getting this is getting obscure and it's stupid but I'll bring it up anyway. Like <laughs> much like this show. <laughs> yeah, but like you know the whole gimmick with the DS and the 3DS, where you know they could basically function as cameras with their like their portable screens. Now that the Switch has that, they got to bring back like Photo Dojo. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be a well, riot. There was also a WarioWare game for the 3DS that was really weird. It was a uh, War- WarioWare Snapped. Nobody remembers that one. Um, no. And th- that that used the camera. Actually, oh no, uh, no! I just realized that I don't think they could do this. I was going to say they should bring Spirit Camera to the Switch, but the Switch doesn't have 3D, does it? 3D uh, camera? I don't I, think so. Uh, I think it only has one camera on it. Uh, okay. I could... I could I could be wrong. Cause like if they ever got if they ever gave the Switch 3D capability and just brought the 3DS library to the Switch, like I would be pushing people over in the store to like get my Switch. It'd be ridiculous. That's just rude. And then I, yeah, I was gonna say then I would probably get kicked out and not get my Switch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, um, I I think uh, uh we got that pretty good, but uh definitely in the comments uh please let us know what you were you were excited about uh or um had the most to say about uh, uh this nintendo direct i mean uh i once again i i don't think any other company uh does it better than them when it in comes terms to of this. announcements like, yeah definitely yeah yeah they, they the just hype. they know yeah. what to do they know what to do here um so that's the show for this week um please remember to uh subscribe to the corrective consciousness youtube and soundcloud pages while there please give us Thumbs ups, likes, and five star ratings on iTunes. It helps promote and spread awareness of the show, and any bit of encouragement helps keep the show going. You can also catch us on Tuesday on our sister podcast, um, Corrective Consciousness, the podcast about our lives and pop culture. Finally, you can friend me as Vise the Bold uh, on Steam, PSN, Xbox Live, Twitter, Battle.net, um, Switch, and Real Life. Your refrigerator. Vice the, vice the bold in real life. Uh, so you could follow me uh, on my YouTube channel, Lotus Prince. You can hit me up on Twitter at, at Lotus Prince. And finally, if you are interested in seeing my videos early, getting in on exclusive live streams, or even selecting upcoming games to Let's Play, then perhaps consider swinging by my Patreon account, which can be found at patreon.com slash Lotus Prince. And you can find me as PyroJackFrost or Cloud08540 on PSN, Battle.net, Xbox Live, etc., etc., etc. etc., etc. I w- I was et just I was I swear I was going to say like I see someone seen the king and I. <laughs> well, I I got that from uh Willy Wonka, but <laughs> Oh, no, it, it, it's it's from the king and I. Like etc., no, etc., etc. Et oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess it was from Willy Wonka then. The king and I Bye. got it from Willy Wonka. <laughs> Yeah, correct. <laughs> I was mistaken. King and I with the country of Siam got it from Willy Wonka. Uh, <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, red-haired man, Elias. Goodbye. Until next Bye. time, everyone. <laughs>